Hello and welcome back to the last spell. So I realize I kind of already messed up a little bit. It's not going to cost us too much, but it'll cost us something. Um, but I shouldn't have blocked these off. I should have probably put up um, either some gateways or something, something that, that I could pass through. Um, so I'll have to rectify this later. Uh, we'll see how that goes. But uh, in any case, let's let's get going. Equip your new gear. Do I have new gear that I didn't equip? Oh, right. I have a book. Does it, Can anyone use this shield real quick? The only person who can is... Uh, well, you know what? He uses a wand. I'm just wondering... Uh, we could give him like the book as a, a secondary. Might be worth trying. I, I, I'm not a huge fan of like figuring out how to you know switching between two different weapon types but we'll we'll, we'll figure it out all right so i have heard um there is one flaw with doing a very uh heavy ballista like a ballista heavy um strategy is that they actually rob um your your characters of uh xp which is a legitimate concern because you need your you need your dudes to um you know scale up as the night as things progress so them not getting xp is is genuinely a bad thing um but there there is a perk i'm not sure if uh yo what is this oh right unavailable at night i'm wondering um we'll have to see if who who has that perk if anyone wouldn't be a bad idea to just check now. Um, wow, I'm not really seeing any of the good stuff here. Like, well, I say good stuff, but like, we, I don't see trap resetter. Uh, and I don't see XP near ballistas. And this is not really a good time to be looking through this, but like it is a genuine concern here we go um automatically attacks it too close to, no that's human ballista that's different um initiator initiator is actually genuinely good for this guy but um we'll put propagation on as well i'm just ah oh, man it's not gonna it's gonna be like on level four or three not before that i wouldn't think I mean, there is Avid Learner. Avid Learner um, might make up for the XP loss. I'm kind of worried that none of my guys have that uh, the ability to gain experience from our ballistas. Kind of really sh sucks. And it seems like none of them have Trap Resetter either. Well, shoot. Dang. Wow. Okay. Um. Alright, well, we'll just, we'll, we'll play as is for now. It's not like we're not going to kill anything. But, uh, I think you need to kill it. Like, at least 20 enemies per character in order to level them up. Let's, uh. Do away with these lads. Um. You have pretty good armor, but you do not have very good movement. Can you reach those lads over there? Kinda, sort of, not really. He's got a really good range, actually, for that hammer. Ground smash. That seems to have some movement. Uh, I'm gonna give him transfer. And hopefully that'll get, make up the last bit of distance here. There we go. Uh... Hammer strike. Crunch. Follow up. Uh, follow up's not good. There is mega stomp, but mega stomp is a uh, close range. Ground smash. We could we could do that. It's a horrible waste of mana for one dude, but it is what it is. I've done it. I have to learn. the The sledgehammer guy is new. All 
All right, here's our first set of uh, archers. Um, I think a ground smash here would actually be pretty good. Oh, the sledgehammer seems pretty pretty cool, actually. This costs us one action point, and it has the potential to stun. I I like it. I like it a lot. Nice. We've got a good set of stuff. Um, I'm not upset with this ballista strategy. I, I think it's it's got potential. Uh, does it have like a flaw? Yes. And we'll have to work around that flaw as we do. It's just about anything, right? What do you mean? Oh, this guy's a blocker. Uh, that blocker is going to make things annoying. Um, you know what? Let's why don't we just like focus? We'll use our, our basic fire just for now. Uh, can we we can kill that guy with a heavy bolt? We need to be at the right lateral uh, distance. These barriers kind of suck. Whoops, that was not correct. Actually, why don't we? Oh, we only have one action point left. Heavy bolt. That did it. Nice. I I, I keep saying it. I'm gonna say it again and again. I'm gonna say it again, right now. I really like this game. <laughs> It's so much fun. It's just like absurdly addictive and, and compelling. I, it's been a long time since I've I've played a tactics game that ha grips me as hard as this one does. I have played others that that have, but like this one just like uh, I, I wasn't expecting it. it really blindsided me. All right, now uh, what can we do here? Follow up. This one's got opportunism mega stomp now this guy uh this guy seems to like want to put down um some kind of like debuff like a stun i'm pretty sure it works towards his uh opportunism so will this work on that guy it seems to oh when it teleports him jeez follow up um this looks like a decent idea. Okay, this guy resisted like every attack. Uh, I can't seem to... I guess you have to be like slightly away in order to do that one. Okay, well that, that works out fine. We'll back up a little bit. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of learning the sledgehammer. The sledgehammer seems interesting, but it, it is a little tiny bit of a, of a learning curve. Um, may as well do our transfer now so we get that damage buff. Do I really need to, like, metagame that, that damage buff? It's such a minor buff. Well, yeah, kinda. I, I like it. Why not? Why not make use of the, uh, tools that we have, you know? Okay, this seems like a good impaling bolt. There's a couple of good impaling bolts here, actually. Nice. Uh, we'll do another impaling bolt here. Hey! Yo, cat's looking through the trash, though. <laughs> uh, someone's gonna give me a hard time. It's like, oh, you don't let your cat look through the trash? No, I don't. I know that the crossbow girl is 100% going to uh, level up tonight, for sure. These guys sharing this side, they, they might uh, not level up. We'll see. Oh, ho, ho, ho. those were good traps. Those were really good traps. Ah, I like those traps a lot. When they work, they work really well. Um, let's do a heavy bolt, actually. Yeah, should have just done that to, to begin with. Oh, okay. The ballista is going to clean that up, but it's it's like that was our first misstep. Um, now, this guy over here is kind of a problem. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, can we do... We could do something like this. You need line of sight. This blocker is such a problem. 
We could do this. This is pretty good. And then we'll follow up this lad. And then follow up this lad. And kill this lad. And then move back. Good enough. I think this is uh, our first time where I, uh, magic missiles is actually valid. I mean, we're, we're you know we'll we'll get four kills each. It's it's decent. And we'll kill that last lad. Actually, uh, yeah, well let's kill the last lad. I think since um since we actually care about XP, um we're gonna be prioritizing kills a little bit. You don't really want to be leaving things almost to dead. Nice. Wow, there's just like almost nothing over here. Um, it's getting a little bit spicy over here, but not not too bad. Nothing. It's nothing that we can't handle. Um, yeah, let's uh, for three for the price of one seems like a well three for the price of two action points, I should say. Actually, let's undo that and do a heavy bolt. That's good. And then uh, one more clean up. This is going very well. We are, we are, this is going so much more comfortably than the first time. I mean, it makes sense. Yeah, I keep saying it, but we got, we got that meta progression helps a lot. But uh, I also think that the ballistas are, are doing a lot more for us. Um. Okay, yeah, I mean, we're, we're just about done. I'm pretty sure the ballistas just saved us taking any damage. Uh, why don't we let Sledgehammer dude get some damage in? So I guess you need to attack a target out of range. Oh wait, no, never mind. I'm just too close. Let's try that again. Yeah, I wanted to get that stunned so that the follow-up would do more damage. There we go. Is there a bard left to sing about this? Another knight survived. Everyone leveled up. Uh, Talenka only got 13 kills. Which one was Talenka? Talenka is one of the ones over here. I'm not sure if they're the hammer. Hammer gal. Nice. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. Now, the production phase, I'm a little bit concerned about. Because um, I, I definitely like I have a lot of choices to make. I, I want to max out our workers like as soon as possible. Um, but there's it costs 70 every t like to increase by one. So maybe. Oh, you know what we need actually? Well, we need more money. Um, upgrade the mine workers required equals one. Okay, so let's upgrade the mine because that'll pay for itself immediately. Upgrades passive production. We definitely want to do that. And why don't we just upgrade this right away and then we'll get we'll get that money not quite back well we almost got it back but we'll get more money the next round i almost want to build another gold mine like immediately we can have three of these and i think we should like definitely prioritize that a little bit i, I think what i want to do is gold mine and we're, we don't we're not in dire need of a temple yet so maybe later wouldn't mind doing things like blacksmith blacksmith or maybe like um well, not boyer uh armor armor maker armor maker would be nice it, earlier than later would be would be good uh no but i want a scavenger's camp so i'm gonna do uh we're gonna do another gold mine and we're gonna do a scavenger's camp and I want this, like, as soon as I can, really. And, yeah, that's, like, all of our money. Um, but we can dedicate two more workers to uh, this other gold mine. <clears throat> it's a bit of a... It's a bit of a spend. I honestly feel like there's better things to do with our money. Maybe... Yeah, like, if I did scavenge some of these ruins... We could do three workers each, and we'll get a bunch of materials... A little bit of gold. I definitely think the materials 
uh, right now would benefit us. I mean, they'd benefit us anytime, but... I don't know. Uh, if I got the gold, would we be able to do anything with it? We'd be able to build something. We'd have enough to build one of the 60s. Um, not a, not a house. Maybe another gold mine, actually? Kind of tempting. Yeah, you know what? Let's do it. We'll do, uh, we'll do another gold mine. It's, it's, uh, I know it's very, it's very aggressive, but I honestly feel like building, like, the gold mines and increasing our workers in the early game is gonna benefit us long term much much more like that's that's gonna ramp us up so much harder than anything else because like we're gonna be making an extra what 40 gold per turn per round well okay it's only 25 before you upgrade it so it'll be we'll get an extra 50 gold total and we're gonna get a, an extra 40 materials um so i do think it's it's pretty worth it we could have done this but i don't think that we would have gotten that much from it Eh, a little bit. I don't know. Maybe it's probably worth it economically, but I don't care for now. Um, let's go ahead. Well, um, can we buy anything of value from our Tainted Essence? Plus 5% experience. These omens are really expensive. Omen of savings. <laughs> Uh, could make a make a joke about uh, car dealership here. New defense that can now be built. Slow trap. Could be good actually. Could be interesting. They're not very expensive. The nice thing about the traps is they're very they're very cheap. Honestly, think that they'd be worth uh, investing into. Um, why don't we get experience? Wait. This isn't part of our omen, right? This is just extra experience. We'll get experience. And why don't we take the... I'm going to take the slow trap. I know the stun trap is, is appealing. And actually, I guess this, the stun trap would have... Uh, I don't know. If slow is a debuff, then it, it won't matter. Because it'll build towards motivation, um, momentum. Not momentum, sorry. Opportunism. Rejoice, O Earth and Sea, for I have come with gifts in hand. Are you pregnant? <laughs> Thou givest hope, I give birth. Dreams flow through me in sweet delight until I cannot bear any more. Pure life energy is expulsed through me, forever voyaging through the furthest cosmic orbs. My sweet apostle, if only thou hast a felt a, but a drip of that transcendental ecstasy. Alas, it is a gift I cannot share. Very, very odd. Ah, uh, we're one away from being able to make it so that the shop will have epic items if i had only built a boyer or something i would have gotten things a lot quicker um okay so we've got a bunch of materials i honestly well okay let's we're gonna level people up um i i do want to try a scepter at some point this they, they seem really cool um but I think pretty much anyone can use a helmet. We don't... Ah, oh, this helmet sucks. Plus 7% resistance. It just seems like meh. I guess it's better than nothing. Wow, we've... Two people already... Wait, no, never mind. I'm an idiot. Um... Yeah, this is bad. bad. I don't, I'm not a huge fan of this. We could give this to the wand user, but the hat is really the best thing offered to us. And that hat sucks. <laughs> that is the worst hat I think I've ever seen. All right. Um, who wants a hat? <laughs> a good hat? No. Just a, just a hat. You want a hat? Here you go. All right. Let's level up our lads or lasses, I guess. Um, damage? damage can't can't really say no to damage reliability wouldn't be bad let's go with reliability perks extra mana um she did i mean she didn't get full mana so that's something oh right we have to go with mana regen for her don't we 
Increased by 30% of the ma hero's current mana. So she, she would just get like a ton of extra uh, damage from that. We could do that. She does use mana, but um, she doesn't have to. So she could just end up nuking uh, people individually. She'd be a good candidate for isolation damage. Oh, it's Jelenka. Oh, that's that does not look like a J to me. That looks like a T. I know it doesn't look like a T, but you know, I, I just thought it was uh, ye old l l l alphabet. <laughs> um, extra block is tempting. Move points is also very tempting. She since she's going to be moving around the map. Uh, she has one negative one action points. That's got to be one of the worst like things I've seen um, Yeah, we'll give her block What does she need she's got stun she's got coagulation So daily health regen is something that benefits her a lot Let's re-roll these Oh, look at that. That's stun chance. 15% is a big deal. Um, kind of, I like the idea of contamination and actually it works really well for her because um, it, it counts as a, as a, a debuff. Stun transfer can still fail because of stun resistance. When the unit dies, all of its negative alterations are applied to two random adjacent units that are not already contagious. So we could just like stack debuffs on someone and then uh, they would spread it. It's an interesting idea. I like that. Um, fatality. I should get fatality for someone. Someone needs fatality. Glass cannon. Extra move points. I like this contagion. Let's try it. Like, if someone is stunned and we put contagion on it and then kill that unit and spread stun, that would be so good. Okay, Paloma, what do you need? Do you need anything specific? Uh, every four kill enemies killed, they get more mana regen. I don't think that... Uh, did you burn... No, you, you've, you've got quite a lot of mana. So, we could just give you mana... More, ma more more damage for, per mana wouldn't be terrible we definitely want to give her initiator but um i'm not a huge fan of these the damage is fine obviously accuracy i should probably get accuracy but I, that mana is just going to serve her better daily health regen sure does she have a lot of health not really does she have a lot of armor, even? Does she have any armor? I'm not really seeing any armor. Weird. Um, opportunity... Well, I don't know. Does this multiplier apply to the damage dealt to the targets with negative alterations? Opp opportunism might could be really good. But, I don't know. I'll go with the, uh, the, the... The color is green, therefore it makes me the feel good. Um, all right, so we're gonna stack two characters on this side again. I am gonna have to build um, Some ballistas here. I definitely want to like stack up Similar um, similar stuff on on this side kind of want to destroy these walls Maybe I'll get lucky and they'll destroy the walls for me But let's um, let's build some ballistas Oh yeah, we want to build it on the inside of the wall. So we'll go two and two. Two and two. And we already have three ballistas on this side of the wall. We don't really need more. Um, we could have more. There's not really any reason why not. But honestly, better than building more, why don't we just upgrade these? It's actually cheaper than building more ballistas. Um, and then something we could think about is like building wooden walls and then upgrading them later. Because like having some walls would be nice. I actually honestly kind of just want to get some more traps. 
Let's build some traps. They're so cost effective. It's kind of absurd. Yeah, that, that looks good. We could do... Well, we, we can't really do anything else. Um, I don't know. Honestly, I just want to put like a, a wooden gate here. Just to, as a... Uh, <laughs> um a placeholder like uh, uh do please build a better gate here later you know um i think that's pretty much gonna do it for the d building phase oh, we have buildings with free actions we haven't done we haven't recovered anyone's mana we don't no one really needs any more mana i mean i'll, I'll give them some okay okay uh, we could build one more slow trap. Now eh, let's save that seven materials. Why not? Uh, well, okay. I'll, I'll tell you why we should actually place it is because if they come over here, then we're gonna hope we had have literally anything over there. I don't want to generate any panic. It really does cost us. Oh, I I almost messed up there by not deploying. Uh, what's her face, Carmen over here. So I'm glad there, there is a deployment phase. All right, here we go. The misting hour. Okay. We don't have to do anything like wild right now. We can just kind of take it easy and use our, our basic stuff. No need to spend any mana. Um, well, let's just use our crossbow to take that guy out. Wow. That, does the crossbow go through armor? Armor piercing. Oh my god, I've learned a thing. Um, okay. Let's, uh, let's try and do something over here. I just want to get that stun. Do the follow up and then move back. I feel like the game's a little bit loud. There you go. Uh, I think that's it. You know what? I'd like to transfer just because I don't like him being that far forward. And he gets the armor bonus and we'll brace just in case you, you never know. All right, that, that'll do it. Yeah, you know what? I'm glad I did that. I'm, did, I'm glad I did all of that. Okay, time to maybe use a little bit of mana. Nice. Let's, uh, we'll, we'll use one action over there and then we'll use a heavy bolt on this guy. Yeah, it didn't even kill him, so that's that was a pretty good use of that. Good, good, good. Um, all right, now things are starting to get a little bit interesting over here. Let's actually undo that. So I can actually do that from like range. Um, why don't we try our contamination skill? Because the thing is they, they could die uh, just from ballistas. Right? We don't have to use them like that. I'm pretty sure. Do I get two per night? I'm not sure. We'll see. We'll find out. We could use it now actually since they're stunned. We could just like kill this unit to ensure that. Yeah. Okay. So it's, it does spread stun. That's actually really cool. That is super cool. I'm going to throw our transfer down now um, because I need to take out one of these winged guys and the winged guys seem to take, they, they take a little bit of extra hits, you know? 
There we go. Kill this guy. We have one more action here. We could do something interesting. I, I kind of want to kill this dude, but I don't think I can. Why don't we just, we'll, we'll do, oh, I have to, I'm not used to a melee unit not being able to hit something right in front of them. There we go. I wonder, do they feel pain? Who could say? Okay, we're good. We're done. Ooh, okay, we're gonna have to take care of that guy right away. Oh, never mind. Ballista's got him. So, uh, these guys are contagioned, but they're not stunned, right? So we wanna... Do we have any other effects other than stun? I wonder if slow is a thing. These They are armored, but we, we don't have to uh, do anything yet. So hold on a second. Let's uh, see if we can't stun th them, any of them. It's, it's really weird having a ranged like melee attack. It's really cool too. All right. Um, so we could start like doing follow up. May as well. And then we'll clean up a little bit. And that'll stun this guy and spread contagion a little bit. Yeah, this contagion is really good. It would be better if there were like more units. I know that's weird, but like it, it genuinely would be. Yeah, we're like really comfortable right now. Actually, we could uh, we could do one more kill. Oh, oh, never mind. We need to we need to be like. Uh, we could do it. I don't think it's worth it. But heck, if I'm not gonna do it anyway, there we go. Extra kill. You know what? It was worth it. Why not? Oh, those traps are, are doing nice work. I'm, I'm a, hu a huge fan, honestly. Um, let's throw down this. This is a decent use of the fireball. And we'll just heavy bolt this guy. We really don't have enough for her to do. She could just like back off and, and kill some stragglers over here. She's got a lot of movement. 10 movement is kind of insane. We may as well keep her there. That's a good spot for her. Uh, let's move over here. So yeah, he's got more contagion. So that did spread the stun. I probably shouldn't have um, contagioned the guy in the middle. Um, let's try We could try like a mega stomp. I don't know how that works. I think it's just a lot of damage on one spot. Oh, it's pr it propagates. Okay, we'll have to try that at some point. I don't think now is a good good time, though. Nice. Yeah, I'm still... I'm trying to figure out the uh, the sledgehammer. It's it's really cool. Um, but I, I, I don't fully understand all of its nuance just yet. Those uh, slow traps don't seem to have a huge area of effect. I thought that they would work kind of like the damage traps. Oh, we already have frogs. Okay, well, um, that's fine. Let me see. What can we do here? We do a, we could do a um, stomp here. Let's contagion this guy and then we'll try and stun them yeah cool and then we'll do a ground smash and try and spread that stun nice we could like follow up if we're like feeling really greedy just to spread that stun a little bit further and now over here this so this guy's slowed oh wait do we have another contagion we do have another contagion so we could like contagion him right and then when we kill him, uh, we'll spread that debuff. 
Is it worth it? I don't think so. Um, let's use our crossbow to kill some of these last. Is this 70 damage? Yeah, so we can do we can kill two armored guys with one crossbow attack, which is kind of insane, actually. Yeah, look at that. Oh man, that's good. Stay dead this time. May as well transfer. Um, is it worth using a fireball? What are these? These 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 guys have resistance. Is their deal? So debuffing their resistance would be good, but I don't think I can do that right now. Let's just let's just kill some stuff. We don't really have to like super think this through. Maybe I don't know. Maybe we do. Maybe we should always think think things through. You know. Okay, um, he didn't die. I was kind of hoping he would die. Now, over here, I think we have a good candidate for a fireball. Nice. I think a heavy bolt will kill this frog. Nice. And I actually think there's another good fire... Uh, oh, we, we can only do one fireball. We could do an impaling bolt. That only costs one action point. Yeah, nice. And then another one here. Oh, that didn't... Did that not reach this guy? This guy is um, buffed, and he's going to make it to the wall at the very least. So that's that's not great. Let's just go through the door and uh, protect, protect um, Carmen. Take a step, step forward, and we can, we can do, like, one more thing here. Actually, wait. If we can do something, we should probably do it over here. Oh, there we go. There's a nice little bonus attack for us. Perfect. Oh my god. Okay, we're poisoned. That's fine. The buff sucks, but it's not a big deal. I think there's a good propagation um, potential over here. Where is, uh, okay, it's this mega stomp that has propagation. So I'm thinking it's too tempting not to try it. It's got propagation five. So it could do something interesting here. And I'd like to try it. Um, yeah, let's, let's try it. Yeah. Yeah, that was really cool. And uh, the contagion like basically threw all of the debuffs onto our uh, hopper here. I wonder if that wounded, if wounded counts as a debuff. Probably not. Um, we could do another ground smash. Oh no, this this is this is not as good. Let's just do some normal attacks. Yeah, that stun is actually going to work out well. Yeah, I, I, you know, it would, it would be nice if I could get over there and do some stuff. I guess we can, we can do something with Paloma and also we could transfer. Let's transfer him. He might be able to do some more stuff over there it, at the very least stun something else. Yeah. Not bad. This guy will probably die to the ballistas. Um, let's just kill this frog with a crossbow. Kill that lad. Oh, he took two. That's surprising. Maybe we can do... Um, do you have a contagion? Yeah, you do have a contagion. Let's contagion this guy, and then we'll try and kill him with a magic missile. Yeah, okay, so that, that, that worked out well. Everything is stunned right now. Now, over here, I mean, it's it, this is fine. This is, like, totally fine. I see a really good explosive um, bolt opportunity. Did I accidentally destroy one of my traps? I think I did. Oh, that kind of sucks. I didn't even realize that that was a thing you could do. 
I wonder if you can repair it. Oh, that I, I was not able to kill that lad. Okay, well, he's going to get to the wall, but that's fine. We're generating like zero panic. Oh, did he get slowed down? Oh, he's wounded, so that's why he's so slow. Okay, I guess we'll have to be a little... I'll have to be a, a bit more mindful of my traps when I'm like stomping around all the enemies. Uh, let's just use a magic missile. Actually, we'll transfer first and then we'll get some extra damage. Um, yeah, well, I think it's still worth using a magic missile. Perfect. And then we can just come over here and stomp this guy into oblivion. There we go. Perfect. All right. Things are going well. Everyone leveled up. That's what you like to see. You like to see that. Specifically that. Lots of money, lots of materials, one item. Okay, we still only have two two sides to protect, which is nice. You should try this out. Um, so we have 266 gold. I'm trying to let's let's grab our item first. Now there is a hat. That's a nice hat. Healing received poison damage. We don't really do any poison damage right now. Um this thing's actually kind of all over the place. It has a it has really good healing received. <laughs> Very nice dodge, some resistance. Uh I I kind of don't like it to be honest. I don't like this this helmet. It's epic, but it's it's not that doesn't necessarily mean it's amazing. I'd rather have armor or something. Honestly, this isolation and re reliability already seems like more interesting to me. And we have uh, plus 28 armor, health, physical damage, dodge. Yeah, I mean, I think that uh, I think that this is also better. I, I just like I, I don't I don't know how to make use of healing received unless we have like potions and stuff, which, you know, we will, but yeah i think i do like this armor wait negative move points that's that's the part that sucks mm, let's take i i know it's dumb but i'm gonna take this lone wolf helm because i i know at least a couple of people that would benefit from uh isolation Not maybe not uh, Jelenka. I, I don't like saying Jelenka. That just sounds weird. I think Carmen would benefit from the Lone Wolf Helm. Um, we can give that helmet to someone else. Almost doesn't matter because it's not a good hat. <laughs> what are you gonna get, Paloma? Um, what do you do? You need anything specific? More mana will give him, uh, will, will give her more uh, ma uh, damage. Every seven mana spent, restore one action point. Not necessarily great for them. Propagate, oh, initiator would be good, I think. I do like initiator. Every eight enemies killed by a propagation means one less propagation bounce. This is if I want to ever switch to the other uh, weapon. Oh, they do have resupply. Oh, nice. Allowing to restore one charge to some of the nearby traps. Oh, enemies killed by defenses now give bonus XP to this hero as if they were kill the, the killer. I think that that's actually worth it for her, especially since I'm putting her like on one side generally. Oh, wait, no, this is uh, this is not this is not my crossbow user. Sure, let's give them Let's give them defensive training now and then I'll give them initiator next time they level up Which they should do pretty quickly um, I think mana will be like I'm tempted to re-roll But I I my experience with re-rolling is that if you had an obvious choice you should have just taken it 
daily health regen isn't that something that she can make use of i don't think so i think that's someone else increased by 30 percent of their current mana. having mana is is obviously what we want let's re-roll these Ugh. you know what if i'm gonna take an experience gained perk i may as well also give them experience gained as a as a stat they're gonna be they're gonna be leveling up a lot hopefully that is the intent uh jelenka you gain extra armor if you have more daily health regen which is nice whenever negative alteration is applied by the hero plus one percent opportunism that would benefit them quite a bit actually they would get oh plus three propagation bounces that could actually benefit them um initiator is nah not not it thrifty vampire interesting critical runes harvester um i like the idea of fatality maybe could be good i also like nimbleness for them they have a lot of propagation bonuses kind of yeah let's just get the sadist i think uh now what do they need they need daily health regen daily health regen will give them more armor um could just take critical i kind of wouldn't mind just like accuracy i'm not a huge fan of any of these if i'm being honest accuracy all right well i said it so there it is opportunism now that's there there we go that's something good for them they're gonna benefit from that a lot okay carmen carmen what do you need anything specific 30 percent of the hero's current mana so they'll get more um they'll get more uh damage if i increase their mana will it be as much as if i just gave them uh what is that three five damage Let's see. Increased by 30% of the hero's current mana? Probably not. Um, and they didn't even use the mana they had, so probably just giving them damage. I'm going to reroll these. Accuracy? Fine. Accuracy is, is always nice. And then range damage. There you go. Wait, do they, they benefit from daily health regen? I don't think they do. Okay uh range damage perfect um sprint sprint would be potentially good for them oh it costs health i don't know how i feel about that whenever isolated unit is killed plus four percent damage or plus six percent when using physical damage so they would just like increase in damage every time they kill a character uh, like anyone in any one unit as long as there's no hero within range of five you know what let's do this for now because they are kind of on their own a lot should i be doing that probably not but hey it's it's working out so far you know um so we have all of the gold mines we can afford maybe we want to upgrade them now so first of all let's upgrade this and then if you're gonna upgrade it you gotta use it at least with one worker and therefore it kind of pays for itself we can upgrade the other one we can actually use this twice let's go ahead and use it twice so now that that's pretty much paid for itself already um we do want to think about building like actually useful structures oh yeah can we repair these yeah that mist is moving forward there's no doubt about it i think we we need to buy a seer oh, it's so expensive i can't stand how expensive the seer is actually Okay, 
Two workers to repel the mist. Sure. And uh, one worker to do a guess where I think would be worthwhile. Nice. Kind of not sure how I want to div divvy up um, the, the, the people. I think we need to build an inn. I think that's the next thing that needs to be built. Because we are... We're, we're, we do not have enough heroes. I think right there is okay. It's kind of... I think that's where I put it last time. No way we can afford um, a hero right now. We, we've now spent all of our gold. Which I think... I think we've spent it pretty well. I'd like to just... Oh, I need to upgrade this before I can put a worker towards um, getting more materials. Why don't we just, like... Um... Well, let's let's get, make sure everyone has mana before I just waste our last worker. Is there any? There's no big corpse piles. No big corpse piles. Can we repair this? Yeah, we can. Okay, cool. So you can destroy them, and it costs. I guess um, that that was the same materials as, as building a new one. Let me just check that. No, it was actually cheaper. It was actually cheaper. Nice. Uh, yeah, let's just throw a worker at one of these Another 40 materials would be would be kind of nice Okay, so we have 250 materials to play with um, I would like to build more material or uh, more ballistas I think like one more there and I'm gonna put like w maybe a couple here and I'm, uh, I'm going to upgrade these ones. And I'm going to upgrade a couple of these. Oh, I can only... I can only upgrade one. So honestly, I may as well just take the 60. Oh, I was going to say, you know what? Instead of... Yeah, I was going to say we can just like build another one. But actually, it is worth just upgrading one. Because then we could we could build put a couple of traps here. I think I'm gonna put Carmen here. Carmen's gonna be taking care of just this side, uh, which you know, God God bless her. I wish her all the luck in the world. Do these are these traps not automatically resupplied? I thought that they were kind of like the the catapults, like they. They're given, uh, oh, that's, that was the last of our materials. I thought they were like renewed between nights, but it doesn't look like it. Okay. That's interesting. Good to know. That definitely, um, changes a little bit how I feel about them. I, I think I'm still going to end up using them, but you know. Okay. I, I think that this is pretty good is there anything i can do i could buy probably nothing a potion potion of speed <laughs> um tempting some slightly better armor no all right uh that's actually going to do it for the episode I, I i can't really do anything else oh wait a minute buildings with free actions what Oh, uh, extra mana. Does anyone need, like, one point of mana? I don't think so. Yeah, that's gonna do it for the episode. Uh, if you are enjoying the series, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.